welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join me out on the bank and we're in search of pike. Before we get into this week's blog, I'd like just to thank everybody that left such nice comments on last week's video where we went in search of those silvers on the River Severn. It was great fun fishing that bollow and when Mr Pike come along, what a battle. So thank you to everybody that enjoyed that video and left such nice comments on it. It really does mean a lot and I hope you have a fantastic weekend Bankside. So to the people that are new out there and this is the first video that they've seen on the channel, my name's Danny and every Friday at 6 o'clock I put a brand new video out and have done for the past three years. There's over 200 videos now on the channel that are free to view so well worth a subscribe if you're into your fishing. At the start of the video I do like to cover some of the stuff that I've been up to in fishing during the week. This week unfortunately has been a lot of work and very little play. So like all anglers, when I'm not fishing, I'm either looking at fishing gear or buying fishing gear. And this week I've decided to make a purchase with the money that I would have used to go France. I've decided to pick up the 8 metre whip from Preston Innovations. Also, a few weeks ago, I did go out on the lures and I've decided to pick up some lure pieces from the Corum Snapper range. A couple of the veggies that are coming out soon, some more squirms and a dedicated lure rod for targeting those chub. So that's all going to come in the coming weeks where we're going to go out and target those fish and hopefully get a few on the bank. But that's a bit of what I've been up to this week. So while we're talking about fishing tackle, this week is the week that Corum launched their autumn range of new tackle that's coming out. So on the channel I don't really do many tackle reviews or things like that. If that is something that you want to see on the channel, maybe a Tuesday video looking a bit more in depth at some of the tackle that I use. For example, the whip that I'm purchasing. If that's something that you want to see on the channel, separate to the Friday video, but a direct look at certain pieces of tackle, then leave a comment below if that's something that you would like to see and I can begin recording a couple of videos just to show closer up some of the tackle that's coming or some of the tackle that I use a bit closer up. So with that said, it's time to head bankside in search of those pike and this week we are on the banks of that beautiful Cheshire Mere. If you are out fishing this weekend, I wish you all tight lines and I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join me on the banks of a beautiful Cheshire Mere and we're in search of pike. So the past couple of days the rain has been quite heavy and they've given more of that today. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the rods out and make the most of this quiet, calm, early morning period where you can just take in the beautiful surroundings. The trees just starting to turn, you've got all the mixtures of greens, golds and oranges starting to appear and it's just a beautiful time to be on the bank. This is a venue that we have fished before and I'll put a link to the top of the screen now to one of those sessions where we managed to catch one of the beautiful double figure pike from here. But to be honest with you, any pike from here is beautiful. They've always got lovely markings because the water is so clear. So when a fish here, it's always with an air of anticipation rather than expectation. The rods are out, it's time to sit back get the sheltered up and chill out. So distance wise, I've got the lamprey out towards that boy and this smells, I'm just gonna have a gentle chuck, not too far, just over the first shelf. And it's that deep as it's going down, I'm just pulling it back so it's all in a line, just making sure that it's all laid out flat on the bottom. As you can see, it's hit the bottom there. It just ensures that your rig is laid out and not tangled especially when you're fishing in that depth of water you want to make sure that you are fishing there's nothing worse than sitting there waiting for the bite and reeling in and being tangled so literally 
nothing prepared literally just cast the rod in it's probably been in maybe 10 minutes if that <laughs> and it's just gone straight away which is quite unusual for this place really not the biggest pike but as you can see beautifully marked and what a setting so there we go there's that pike normally quite a slow starting water normally normally it's about half past 10 before you get a run so I was super shocked when the alarm went off with that smelt and a cracking start to the session a lovely marked pike and that's what we come for on here doesn't matter how big they are they're always beautifully marked so what a fantastic start to the session that was and proper made up with that pike normally it's about half past ten when you get a run like i said so to get that early run more than made up it did catch me by surprise i didn't have the gopro set up or the camera with me to begin with to get the run but yeah one thing i love about piking is the buzz of that take from silence to the alarm screaming off it's good to be back out piking so set up for the session is my 12 foot 3.25 pound test curve corum dead bait rod it's part of the snapper range nice strong rod for getting those dead baits out team that up with a zelos reel and on there i've got 60 pound piker braid down to the business end nice and simple i've got a low resistance run ring on the line a nice three ounce gripper lead so what you want is that lead to sit on the bottom like that and not move when you get a run the pike feels no resistance as it moves off with the bait i've got two beads to aid separation on the cast that's simply just to prevent any tangles a quick change bead and that's down to an 18 inch homemade wire trace incidentally this year i am using the savage gear carbon wire and i'm really liking this wire it's dead easy to crimp and nice to work with and i'll put a picture in the corner of the screen now as to which wire it is started using it this year and it just feels nice to make traces with and yeah impressed with it early on looking at them clouds it doesn't look like it's going to be too long until we're going to need that brolly up you can see the blue sky of the morning moving away and the dark clouds of the afternoon moving in now they had give this from early morning so kind of got away with it for the early part but i don't think we're going to get away with it moving into the afternoon and still it's a beautiful place to spend the day and sometimes in fishing they do say a fish is a bonus we've had that early fish but it's a beautiful place to wet a line you've got the wildlife the deer have just hidden in the trees now and you're just left with this beautiful backdrop beautiful with the kettle on it's just time to sit back and hope that them rods go again now this session today isn't the first time i've been out for pike this season have done a few opportunistic sessions after work you're talking finishing work at five o'clock you know fishing till about seven and i have managed to pick up one or two small jack pike on them sessions it was good to see the float go for the first time as you can see on screen now that buzz of seeing the float come alive and move away and it was good to get one or two pike under my belt as i say not massive but enjoyable to be back out on the bank and seeing that float go. Plans for the rest of the month on the channel. I'm hoping to get out in search of barbel for those late autumn ones, maybe in search of a bigger barbel, you know, in areas that maybe haven't got the numbers, but may throw up a bigger barbel towards the end of the season. I'm hoping that I can find time to get out for them. And I'm also going to be out on the stick flow and starting to think about those silvers and pike. So they're the plans for the coming months. I hope you enjoy the content that's going to come on the channel. You can see how the water out there 
that's the rain hitting the water and you know full well it's about to hit you. It's amazing how the atmosphere on the lake changes during the day. We've had the sun this morning, it's been warm and then now it's overcast with a band of rain heading our way. And that didn't take too long to arrive. Literally watched it come across the whole lake and now it's on top of us. Beautiful English piking weather. So we're into the afternoon now and it's been quite quiet really um, and that's what it can be like on this place it's all or nothing and you have to make the most of every run because on the days you come it could be your last when you look at the size of the place it goes all the way round and round that corner so you have to make the most of every run that you get there's probably about an hour and a half of the session left so fingers crossed that the rods might go again but that is the challenge that comes with this place but as i've said before there isn't a more beautiful setting that i fish than on here it's just a lovely place to wet a line we've got about an hour and a half of the session left so hopefully we might just pick up one more pike before the end so sessions on this may really do pass by in the blink of an eye they are the most enjoyable pike sessions that i do the scenery and the challenge that goes with it your bait is such a small part of that bigger water but that is what keeps drawing me back with that said it didn't come as a surprise that the last two hours of the session just drifted away i can't wait to get back on there again and take up the challenge and i hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog tight lines in your own fishing and i'll catch us all next week tight lines <laughs>